Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Frankie. Welcome to the mess. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look. I really love the way that it came out. I wanted to do a Valentine's Day makeup look that was not pink or red. I also wanted something that would look good with my red hair. My hair is not obnoxiously red, but it's, it's red. And I really like the way that this one came out. It's cool tone. We can jump right into the video. Be sure to check the description box if you're interested in anything that I use because nine times out of ten I put it down there. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell besides the subscribe button so that you are notified every time that I post. That's the video like I said so let's get started. Okay so I think this angle is like okay and if not I'll fix it later. Prime my face and I'm using this primer from Derma Blend. It's the Insta Grip jelly primer and i'm gonna do my eyebrows first because that's just what i do but i'm gonna use two eyebrow pencils i'm using brow pencil from huda beauty in the shade rich brown and i'm gonna use this micro brow pencil from wet and wild in the shade deep brown so i think that one's a little lighter Now I'm going to use the wet and wild pencil. And then the brows is basically done. Now it's where I get to the part of sculpting them out so that they look a little more sculpted. I'm going to use this True Blend Concealer from CoverGirl in the shade Golden Amber. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use this palette from Artist Couture. It's the Supreme Bronze Palette. I'm pretty sure I'm going to dip into other eyeshadow palettes as well, but I want this to be my main girl. I'm going to start with the shade Toasty. Now I'm taking Baked from that same Artist Couture palette. So now I'm taking my concealer and a smaller eyeshadow brush. Now on top of where I cut the crease, I'm gonna take the shade Topless from this same palette. Thank you. 
I want to light and tilt this up and make it look more of like a light gray than this deep dark gray. So I'm just taking a beige eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this pencil liner from NYX and just line my waterline. I think this would look really cute with like some silver glitter or whatever if you want to like make it extra spicy. But I don't want to be that spicy so I'm just going to cut it there. And now we can move on to lashes. So I have this one of these from Amazon with a bunch of lashes on it. And I want to use the most dramatic ones on this. So I had to put some chapstick on because my lips is looking real crusty. But it just occurred to me that I didn't put mascara on before I put my lashes. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm using the Milk Makeup Mascara. Okay, so we can move on to the skin for a minute now. I already primed my face with that Dermablend Jelly Grip Primer. So I'm just gonna color correct. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the face and body foundation from Dior, the Dior Backstage. I use the shade 5W, which it's a little dark for me. It's a little dark and it's a little warm, but I feel like I make up for it when I highlight, so. For my under eye, I want it to be nice and bright, so I'm using my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Gonna set my under eye with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey because that's just this the only it's the only good one. I didn't put no concealer on my forehead, but I'm setting in between my eyebrows because it'll crease there if I don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm setting my whole face with my Pro Filter Soft Net Powder Foundation from Fenty in the shade 410. For bronzer, I'm using this bronzer out of this Morphe palette. I'll put the exact palette down below. I'm gonna go back to my eyes real quick and go back in with this pencil. Just so I can smudge it out. I'm gonna smudge it out with a warm eyeshadow color. I am highlighting with my Master Chrome Highlighter from Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. Okay, so I need to mascara on my bottom lashes. Before I do that, I need to spray my face. I'm gonna use my Elf setting spray because I cannot find my Charlotte Tilbury one anywhere. But this one is still really good too, so I'm just gonna use this one. So for lips, I'm just gonna be basic. I'm gonna stick to a new lip. Again, Spite Lip Glass from MAC. Now I'm taking this lip gloss from the Morphe and Madison Beer collab and it's the shade yeah. Saturn. 
And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I will leave everything down in the description box for you. I really, really like the way that this makeup look turned out. So on Valentine's Day, whether you're going out with your friends, your partner, or just by yourself, I think this makeup look will be a really great way to feel super glam and sexy. I love you guys so much for watching this video. And until next time, I will see you later. I really need to do my nails. Getting disgusting. My son has my phone and is watching YouTube videos and speaking of which you could probably hear the YouTube videos in the background. I didn't think this through.